I'm excited to be working with Recreate again to show you their new 40 watt laser. I am so impressed on how easy it is to set up, so let's get started. This is part one of a three part series, so make sure you subscribe so you're not missing out on the next two videos. The primary goal of this video is to show you the unboxing of the laser as well as the quick setup. I already have the 20 watt diode laser that you can see here. My initial plan was to put this also on the same workspace. I also received the all-in-one conveyor pass-through kit. The kit is a little bit larger than I anticipated so it's going to have to go on a different workspace. I'm just going to take a few seconds to go ahead and unpack everything here. Everything was included in my package including the rotary kit which will come in handy when I start to engrave tumblers. Also included was a fume extractor. As you can see, everything is carefully packed with lots of foam. Now that it's all unpacked, I can show you how to set it up. The setup is very easy and the instructions are easy to follow. We start by adding the hose. The hose is needed so that we have proper ventilation. Start by attaching the housing to the laser with some nuts and your wrench. All the tools and supplies are included. Once you have them tightened up, you can go ahead and add the hose with the bracket and you just need a screwdriver, which is also included. Just tighten with the screwdriver and you're all set to go. You repeat this process with the other end of the hose and attach it to the fume extractor. It just takes a few seconds and it's pretty easy to do. This laser does have Wi-Fi capabilities. We're gonna go ahead and add the antenna here. Just a few twists and you have it installed. Next, we're gonna go ahead and assemble the air assist. One end of the hose will go into the actual air assist and the other end will go into the back of the laser. Once again, another very easy setup. You just stick the hose into this hole. There is another cord on the air assist and you're gonna go ahead and plug that here. Now that we have it all assembled, we can go ahead and take off the protective liner that is covering the glass on top of the laser. This laser includes the safety amber glass and it's also equipped with LED lighting. The next part is to go ahead and turn on the machine so that we can install the grates. We create created the first industry auto lift lasers. Once it's lifted up to its highest point, we can go ahead and install the grates. As I mentioned, the glass is safety glass and it's FDA approved. The laser also includes a tray that collects all of the debris from the bottom of your projects. I've already installed it and it just goes in kind of like a toaster tray. When installing the grates, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that the open slots are facing down. Once you have them face down, you can install them on each side. You just install them by placing them at the bottom. Just lay them flat side by side and you'll be all done. As you can see, it was super easy to assemble the laser right out of the box. No special tools were needed, everything was included. Now that we have the 40 watt laser all set up, let's set up the auto pass through feeder. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you follow the user guide and there's also included this code that you can scan that has a link to a step-by-step -step video. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up very quickly, so I'm gonna speed it up to show you the process. We start by building the frame real quick. It's fairly easy to put together. All you need to do is do a few screws on a couple of ends and then once you're done, you're gonna go ahead and make sure you have it all tightened nicely and square, and then we'll flip it over. Now to attach the pass-through feeder, thread the wire through the canal, and you pull it out through the front slot. This is to make sure that the wire is out of the way. Connect the pass-through feeder through the notches, line up the holes, and then add some screws. You'll add a screw on both sides. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the conveyor roller. You just place it into the slot, and then we get the tray from under the laser and we place it down below. The last step is to attach your rails. With the Super Pack, several rails are included to accommodate larger projects. So now I move this over to another table so that I have enough space for the feeder. Go ahead and place the laser on top and you gotta make sure that you have all the cords out of the way. The kit included some wire management supplies so that you can keep the wires out of the way of the feeder. And here you can see that I have my hose hooked up to the fume extractor. When I'm not using the fume extractor, I can vent the hose out this window right here. And last but not least, we're going to set up the rotary set. This is also included in the super pack that I was sent. It's easy to assemble. All you have to do is put two screws on each side here. Once you have that in place, you can connect the cable to the control board. To set up the rotary set, you do have to take out the grates. Once you have it plugged in, you can go ahead and put the grates back in. The kit also includes a holder to help hold your cylinder steady. And that's it. Now I have my 40 watt and my 20 watt all set up. So don't forget to come back to part two, where I will be demonstrating how to use the auto feeder to create a new project. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. And as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.